Uh, welcome back to the show. I, I've always loved seeing you, and I want to talk about. Thank the... you for having me. Oh come on, the serious. Hello, is this <laughs> real? <laughs> oh no, this is chocolate. Okay, it's cake. <laughs> is it cake? Oh yeah, is yeah, it yeah, cake? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I want to talk to you about uh, uh, obviously the success, better things, the series finale. Uh, listen to some of these reviews. Uh, Hollywood Reporter, very important. Uh, they say the fifth season of Better Things is the best TV show of the year thus far. This show impacts the way April. I see everything around me. That's how to report it. <laughs> Variety says the final season of Better Things is a moment of change for TV. Uh, Time Magazine, the final season of Better Things is Pamela Adlon's masterpiece. And right now it's 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what more can I say? What more can I say about better things that it doesn't get better? Thank you. And then the podcast, if yeah. you like podcasts, yes. listen to the Better Things podcast. Yes, we have a compare. I wanted to do it. I wanted to be like other people in like real TV shows. So I was like, <laughs> let me do <laughs> let me do you what are... these people are doing, yes. like a companion. So I talk about the whole season, but then I have like a different person on, and so like I just had um, Cree Summer. She just did the last one with me, and we talked about being OG voiceover people, and we do like deep dives. And then after the show's over, I'm gonna keep the podcast going because I want to be like Huel Hauser, basically, or <laughs> Mr. Rogers. You so. But uh, you, you you recently just told the story about how you filmed this season. Of course, during the pandemic, and yeah. this is when it was tough to film, you actually filmed a lot of it in London. Yes, we had to because... So Celia Imrie, who plays my mom... Amazing. She doesn't fly historically, and it's not because she's a diva. She has a, a heart... Okay, a medical... A medical sure. reason. Sure. And so um, she would take, like, the, the QE2 every year, like the Yentl, Papa, Watch Me Fly, like, on the front of the boat. Um... But they weren't booking passage. <laughs> the Yentl. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That is so I funny. I knew you would know. Uh, Barbara Streisand. Love yeah. It. And so um, they weren't booking passage because of COVID this year. And I'm like, I can't do a whole season because it's three generations of women on my show, and I can't yeah. have Phil like on Zoom. So um, we, uh, I mean, we d went through everything. FX, my network, at one point they were like, we we found a boat. It costs a million dollars. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah, we... <laughs> can, you're going to put the old lady on the boat? And can it go mid-Atlantic? Like, is that safe? No, this is a terrible thing to do. So then we just eventually figured out how to shoot her scenes all in England. So anytime you see Phil this season, we're in England with her. Wow. Yeah, and it The was magic cool. of... Uh, and they just yeah. made it look, like, And beautiful. Seamless. My production designers, the art department, everybody was so worked so hard. They were incredible. I love uh, the music in the show, uh, and I know this season you started off with a little Monty Python. I, I thought, you know, because people said, are you going to address COVID in the show? And I went through all these kind of machinations, and I thought, maybe we'll do it in flashbacks. And I'm like, no, it's still going to be around. Because I remember I was here, like, two nights before everything got shut down. I remember Remember I had the thieves spray? And, I do remember that. Um, I wouldn't shake your hand, but I shook Rachel Maddow's you hand. You basically, you hugged Rachel. You, I, I you, licked her. You hugged Rachel Maddow. I was yeah, like, I saw, no, bro. Yeah, you're like, Jimmy, chill, yes, man. exactly. Like, Rachel Maddow, hi! And I go, hey, <laughs> I, 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 I watched it happen. Uh, yes. So um, I wanted to come back with hearing Eric Idle start the song. What does it's, he say? Yeah, he's, he uh, says, whenever life gets you down, Mrs. Brown, and things seem hard or tough, and people are stupid, obnoxious, or so daft, and you feel like you've had quite enough, just remember that you're standing on a planet that's evolving. evolving. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to... It's, a, it's, it's a, Eric Idle, it's not. That's brilliant. But it's about the bigness of the universe, and it's like... How small we actually how are. How small we are, and it's just, it, it, you know, that y people get really down... Like, everything's really messed up right now, and we can feel really bad, but there are so many good things happening, and you can't sit there and go, I can't help this, I can't help that, so I'm not going to help anything. Pick a thing. Pick a thing. Yeah. And then you can make a change. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly the vibe. That's what I want. Uh, 
I'm going to be sad to see it go, but this is this is your baby. I mean, you put a lot of uh, your yeah. life into this. Yeah, I, heart I'm and soul grateful. Sweat. Yeah, well done. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Pamela Adlon in Better Things. Take a look. My head is spinning. I'll get you some crackers. Oof. Phil, mm -hmm. Mom, let's take a picture. We hardly have any good pictures on this trip together. Come Absolutely here. not. My hair. Come here. Don't grab me. I'm not the cat's litter. One sec. I love these stairs. Just one cool, just stand still. I've told you many times, I don't I like a hand on cool my shoulder. <laughs> Pamela Adlon, everybody, the final episode Thank of Better God. Things airs next Monday at 10 p.m. on FX and Hulu. Hey, hey.